Hi everyone, it's Dr. Gail from Southern Pediatric Clinic and this is your Healthy Living Vlog where we help empower parents with the knowledge to help make healthy decisions for their kids. So we've had a lot of requests, a lot of requests for um, some more information on teenagers. So we have a whole range of topics coming your way in the next few weeks. Um, this is going to be our teen series. And what I'd really appreciate is if you guys find that this information is useful to you, go ahead and subscribe to the blog so that you can get your new updates every time there's a new video. Share this information with family and friends. And go ahead and like us on Facebook and uh, Instagram as well. That way you can stay up to date with all of the new stuff coming out. So we're definitely going to talk on, touch on a few things. We'll touch on general um, brain changes in the teenager that can kind of help you understand a little bit more about why sometimes behavior is so erratic in, in most teenagers. The next thing we'll talk about are the three different stages of adolescence, that age between preteen and teen into young adults. And we'll also have a video on what we as parents and caregivers can do to help our teenagers really take uh, advantage of their lives, help navigate through this difficult time for them, and hopefully just have a successful adolescence. So we will jump right in. The first video today is going to be on the teenage brain. So what's really going on up there anyway? There are tons of obvious changes that happen in, in, in preteens and teens. Clearly, their bodies are going through a lot of changes, but the part that's a lot of, very confusing for a lot of us is what's actually going on that's unseen, what's happening in the brain. It's so important to remember that teens are dealing with a whole host of challenges, different stresses and pressures in brains that are not yet fully mature. I'm not talking about them not having enough experience in life. You know, they probably haven't had a whole lot of experience per se, but physically speaking, there are parts of the teenage brain that just are not mature. And it therefore it becomes a lot more difficult to handle certain things. We take that in cons into consideration. We can also see that just like kids develop differently um, at different times or different rates, body-wise, so some kids go through puberty before others do. Also, some kids' brains mature quicker than others do. So you just really have to take into consideration all of that as you are looking at your particular teen or preteen. <clears throat> we also know, studies show us that different parts of the brain actually mature at different times. So we have kids that themselves all from head to toe mature at different rates. We also have different parts of the brain that mature at different times. And so you can just imagine, this is a lot of confusion going on. So no wonder kids are, or preteens and teens um, are sometimes very contradictory in what they think or what they say and how they act. So I'm gonna give you a very concrete example to help you understand. And here shortly, a little picture will pop up. And so we know that studies show that parts of the brain mature at different times. There are actually parts of the brain that probably don't mature fully until close to your mid-20s. That's huge, okay? So if you look at this picture here, you'll see that the part in the front of this brain, this is a slice, the brain is sliced down the middle lengthwise here. The part in the front of the brain is called the prefrontal cortex. And that part of the brain is the part that doesn't mature until we're in our about mid-20s. Then you have this little tiny area in the middle called the amygdala, and this part of the brain is fully mature much earlier than the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is that part of the brain that's critical in things like 
mood regulation, being able to pay attention and, keep, and stay focused, impulse control, and abstract thinking. And so abstract thinking is things like being able to plan ahead, being able to see the consequences of your actions. Now the amygdala, on the other hand, plays a major role in more instinctual responses, things like strong emotions and aggression even. And so you can see where the amygdala, that small place in the middle, is mature faster, while the part that's supposed to put the brakes on sync, just saying what you, the first thing that pops into your head, or doing that thing that really, if you slow down and think about it, you know you shouldn't do, is not mature. That part of the brain takes a lot longer to develop. And so you can probably see why it's pretty normal for preteens and teens to be moody, to be impulsive. But it's our job as their parents, as their caregivers, to help them slow down and think things through when their brains can't quite keep up yet. I hope that this really helped you. Again, this is Dr. Gail with your Healthy Living blog. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it with somebody you think could use the information, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.